former head of state, Ibrahim Badama Seba Bangida, has expressed displeasure over the way PDP chairmanship aspirants have involved money in politicking. The retired general in a statement signed on his behalf by Prince Qasim of Fugbua on Sunday, December 3, warned that the party's national chairmanship position for which, its election has been billed for December 9, 2017, is not for sale, Vanguard reports. He said the candidate who emerges as the PDP national chairman must be a man of discipline, character and commendable conduct to breathe fresh air into the party. Babangida stated that the position does not fit persons whose political relevance is measured in terms of money. He said, at this point of our political history as a party, we need a national chairman who is driven by uncommon initiatives creativity and ideas and a rich content of character to lead and stabilize the party in line with the laudable ideals of the founding fathers of the party. Such an individual must possess national recognition to be able to galvanize political opportunities and transform them into tangible outcomes in our democratic engagements. Rather than demonetize the electoral process to provide ample room for more citizens' participation, the idea of monetizing the process and trying to procure party positions defeats merit, offends good conscience and blurs fair play. He however expressed the belief that P2P leaders irrespective of their political interests would allow reason and level playing field to prevail in the overall interest of the party. Meanwhile, former Vice President Abu Bakr Atiku has announced his return to the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Atiku made the announcement in a Facebook Live video on Sunday, December 3 afternoon. He said, Today, I want to let you know that I am returning home to the PDP. Atiku said his decision to leave the P2P was because the party strayed but now he is back because the APC too has strayed from the exciting promises it made in its manifesto. Atiku also took credit for the growth of Nigeria's mobile telephone industry. According to him, his office as vice president in 1999 was charged with growing the telecoms industry and it did.